If you're using an Apple Silicon Mac and don't know how to install or run Windows 11, then this video is for you. In this video, I will show you how to install the official Windows 11 on Apple Silicon Macs using the latest VMware Fusion for free. VMware Fusion 13.5.1 brings a significant update for Apple Silicon Macs, which supports full 3D acceleration and helps to run Windows 11 ARM virtual machine on a Mac. Additionally, it allows running 3D accelerated applications and games, including DirectX 11. It also supports new features like autofit resolution, the ability to download the Windows 11, ARM64 ISO, network simulation, and drag and drop functionality. So everything you need for a Windows 11 ARM virtual machine is available out of the box. And for this demonstration, I'm using a MacBook Air with an M1 chip. To install Windows 11 on M1, M2, or M3 Macs, you need to reserve at least 80 GB or more free space. Now go to this link using a web browser, which will take you to this download page. VMware Fusion can be used for personal computing for free of charge, or you can purchase the premium version based on your requirements. Inside here, click on register with a personal use license. Create a user account if you don't have one. In my case, I already have an account and I choose to log in. After logging in, navigate to the download section and you will find the VMware Fusion Universal Binary that supports both Intel and Apple Silicon Macs. A free license key will be provided for you. Copy it and proceed to download the DMG file. Once the download is complete, double click the DMG file and install VMware Fusion. You will be prompted to grant system permissions, so respond accordingly. Then activate the VMware Fusion using the personal license key. After the installation is complete, you will see this screen. It's time to download the Windows 11 ARM64 ISO. Now starting with VMware version 13.5, a new option allows you to get Windows 11 from Microsoft and activate it later with your product key. We click on Get Windows 11 and VMware will start downloading the ISO. Now please ensure that your Mac is connected to a faster internet connection to download this file which is around 5 gigs in size. Once downloaded, the ISO will be saved in a specific directory. Now click on continue. Next, select UEFI and unselect the secure boot. Firmware Fusion supports a virtual TPM and you must encrypt the virtual machine by setting a password. Then choose to create a new virtual disk and click on continue. Now select customize settings, name the virtual machine and save the settings. You configure the virtual machine by setting the CPU cores to 4 out of 8. And I'm going to set the RAM as 4 gigs out of 8. Now by default, VMware Fusion allocates 64 GB of free space for Windows 11 VM, but you can increase it if needed using the hard disk option. For now, I'm going to allocate 70 GB and leave the rest of the settings at their default. Now close this window and click on start to run the virtual machine. Now once you see this text within the virtual machine, click inside and press the enter key to load the Windows 11 setup. Now keep in mind when you tap inside a virtual machine, the cursor will be bound to the guest OS. To release, press Ctrl plus Command to regain control of the cursor within the host OS. You will now see the Windows 11 setup screen. Follow the on screen instructions to install Windows 11.
After installation, the virtual machine will reboot into the Windows 11 welcome screen. Now choose your country and keyboard layout. Then the system may check for updates. Name the device and click on Next. Now choose to set up for personal use and log in with your Microsoft account. If you want to set up an offline account, turn off the Wi Fi on Mac OS. Then inside the virtual machine, hold Function plus Shift on your keyboard and press F10 to open a command prompt. If in case you don't see the command prompt after pressing these key combinations, you can press Alt plus Tab to open the app switcher and find the command prompt. Then type OOBE backslash bypass NRO exactly as you see and press the enter key to reboot the virtual machine. Now choose your country and keyboard layout again and select I don't have internet for an offline account. Now agree to the terms and conditions, create a user account and finish the setup of Windows 11. Now, as you can see, Windows 11 runs super fast. Now, compared to Intel based Mac, Apple Silicon chips are way faster and better in terms of performance. Now, turn on Wi Fi on Mac OS, and in case you have a spare Windows 11 license key, you can use it for activation. Now, head over to the menu bar, choose Virtual Machine, then select Install VMware Tools. The tools will be mounted successfully. Now open the draft and look for setup.exe and install it. Now this will resolve any issues related to screen resolution, graphics, sound and the internet. Now, as you can see, we have successfully installed Windows 11 on Apple Silicon Mac using VMware Fusion 13.5.1. Now, compared to previous releases, VMware Fusion brings a ton of new features, including network simulation, direct X11 graphics, autofit resolution, drag and drop functionality, and clipboard sharing between host OS and guest OS. And lastly, I also tested a few Windows 11 applications like VS Code. It works fine without any issues. It's recommended to allocate more RAM for Windows 11 virtual machine for better performance. Now, as a bonus part of the video, if you decide you don't like Windows 11 and want to remove it, first turn off the Windows 11 virtual machine. Then using the VMware menu bar, click on Window, choose the Virtual Machine Library, select the Windows 11 from the sidebar and right click on it and choose Delete. Then click on Move to Trash. And that's it, the Windows 11 will be deleted successfully. And that's pretty much it. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. This has been KSKRIO. I will see you in the next video.